Hi, I'm Rachel Kaplow, and today we're going to be going over what kind of math is on the SAT. The math on the SAT will range from simple arithmetic all the way through algebra 1 and 2, geometry, and even some trigonometry. Don't worry if you're a student or a teaching student who haven't taken trig yet because, and you're taking the SAT because it's very rare. If you do have a problem that's trig, it'll only be like one problem at the very end. The SAT ranges from easy, it starts off with the easy problems, then it goes to the medium, and then the difficult. The difficult problems are at the end. So if you're taking the test and you're worried about time, it's okay that you start at the beginning because the most challenging problems are going to be at the end. So if you don't end up finishing, those were going to be the hardest ones to answer and the ones that you were least likely to get right anyways. So that's okay. And if there are trig problems, they'll be at the very end and maybe there'll be one. When I took the SAT, there weren't any, so I don't think you have to worry about that too much. There usually is a geometry problem. There are usually word problems, so familiarizing yourself with that will help a lot. The other thing about the SAT that's good to know is that there's a lot of tricky problems. They're not necessarily that difficult and challenging in the material, but they are trying to trick you. So be very careful about that. Make sure you read the whole directions, if there are directions, and make sure you read the problem very carefully and look at all the answers. because. Like I said, they are trying to trick you. It's different than the ACT, where it's much more about a challenging problem rather than you know, trying to trick you. So that's good to know. I'm Rachel Kaplow, and thank you for learning with us today.